trouble keeping up with the Joneses? It's the coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, Aaron Jones, no picnic a week ago. He's looking for another big game, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0 through the first month and change. And you can hang a lot of this early success on their defense, too. They're the tone setters for these guys, and the entire team feeds off of what they do. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers, they come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week thanks to the early season bye. And usually you hope your bye comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get fresh legs back, you take that time and you run with it. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This will be taken in at the 1. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick in the 2019 draft from Oklahoma. It's Kyler Murray. And coming off of an early season open week. And in this situation, what he told us when we sat down with him was he spent a lot of time working on fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics during that time, as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It's too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. They'll run it with Johnson. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. And here now the offense for Carolina. And they should come in pretty well rested because they had their open week last week. Ideally, all teams want to have that open week later in the year rather than this early. But you make do with what they give you. So you take the time off, rest up, heal up, and come in ready to play. On second down now, it's Johnson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. A look now at the defensive starters for the Cardinals. They were strong last week, CD, and that went over New England. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw. They ended up getting four sacks in the game, stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire time, made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. And that's what they told us this week, that pressure on the QB is key. Throwing is Murray on third down. That's to his running back, carry on Johnson. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. But it'll be second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Murray again, second and 10. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. On third down, Taylor. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. 
Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Now Matt Bryant on for the field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And Bryant's kick is good. And the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they have three first downs and three points. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, their quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And yeah, they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now back to throw. Dancing to his left. And he's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over. jump in on your partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. throw here on first down. Flushed out right. This will be caught by Brown. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. And to give this time to the tailback. And he fights his way in, not giving up. And it's a Cardinal touchdown. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. 
On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like the little bit of courage and play calling, too. Because after an unsuccessful run, especially one where you lose yardage, you oftentimes go right to throw in the football. They came right back with a running play, and it paid off handsomely. Zerline good with a PAT, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that drives six plays, 75 yards, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And it'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Johnson, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Looking a little bit like a continuation of last week. He had three tackles for a loss, and now one more here in the first quarter of this game. And there's been no lack of force by him taking on the offensive linemen, playing them, but also there's a suddenness to his game. They have that initial contact, and then he's gone, moving upfield and making those plays in the backfield. It's a big body moving upfield, too. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Murray with a third and long. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer so short. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. throw now on first down got a man open it's Darren Waller 
Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Got him in. It's Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 28. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Inside the 10 to the 9. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there. With his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Cardinals push further out in front. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talk about low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he a, recognized That's it. a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues, take them all to dinner. the touchdown it's Zerline he'll kick it away let's just feel it at the goal line and not a bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line Carolina getting set to take the field and with this deficit you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away you know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Ryan Kerrigan, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they left little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put them on the ground. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Running from the gun, Johnson. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Throwing on third and long, Murray. Here as he's taken down, Nick Bosa gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Here's Sam Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 
And he's able to get it out of there. And this is a pretty good kick. Fielded at the 33. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Cardinals, great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. So here are the Cardinals to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers 37. And to give this time to the tailback. And up. Welcome back, everybody, to State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's Cardinal football as we rejoin the action in the first quarter. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. They'll try and run for it. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them. They've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll look to throw. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals push further out in front. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. Sirline connects on the extra point, And the lead is up to 18 now. A drive that time of six plays. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. 
Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. On second down, Johnson looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. On third down, Murray and Walker has it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 21 to 3 is your score after one. Panther football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. A first down carry here for Johnson. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now a tip carry for Johnson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. The Panthers on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and four. From the gun on third down, Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack there by Roquan Smith. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. Here's Sam Cook now, as he's on to punt for Carolina. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taking it about the 16. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Tackle made by Eric Kendricks. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain of 22. Some think the teams really won't throw the slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. They'll run it with Jones. Eric Kendricks in on the tackle. On second down, it's Jones. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. 
A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards in a first. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big time play putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And to give this time to the tailback. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. He gets it to Brown. Welcome back, everybody, to State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. We're in the second quarter, and it's the Cardinals in control of the football. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. They'll look to throw here. Open man there is Patterson complete, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe... If you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll try again with Jones. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Aaron Jones, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals push further out in front. And we know they won't get their names in the stat sheet, but the offensive line has to get all the credit for that touchdown run. Tremendous job of blocking, paving the way for the six points. Zerline good with a PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. So that one along 11 play drive. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. 
The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and three. Throwing now is Murray. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Does look like another three and out here. And at some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit. And we're not even at halftime. Here's Sam Cook now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And we'll see what he can do on the return. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game. But really, they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. It's a game of... ...11 and a Cardinal first down. There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming out. He's probably on the next tier. But let me tell you something. If he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best, we'll see more of that in the future. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Marquise Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. As his guys continue to pour it on. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. The drive summary that time, five plays, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Well, that changes things. Boy, does it ever, because you certainly not expect to go backward on second and inches. Now you're bringing up third and two, third and three. 
you're probably going to throw the football because truthfully, that's the NFL way. Very few teams run the ball in third and short situations nowadays. And boy, from up here, I don't think Johnson got there. No, he did not. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Here's Sam Cook now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on. And then, and now nothing but green ahead of him. 20, 10, touchdown, Cardinals. Miles Sanders, an 80-yard touchdown as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. The zero line now for the PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked so well. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Johnson, and this play a lot like the previous one, thanks to that stout Cardinal defense. Back to back, they've been tackled behind the line. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs, but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there, that play got swallowed up. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. From the gun, Murray. He may try and run for this. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Just like that. Just like that. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. The coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. 
Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Carry on Johnson, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. There's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Here's Sam Cook now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Taken in at the 11. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. So possession goes over here on the punt. And... will come the offense as they take over. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And he'll give it here to his running back. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally brought down right at the midfield strike. 12 yards there and a first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess that he's into the clear. Touchdown, Cardinals. A big play there. As the first half is winding down, as his guys continue to pour it on. But go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one, that's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. It's almost as if he's been playing his own game of, can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. The drive there only spanning three plays. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with a few. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round as now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Okay Brandon thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. We'll start up in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle and it's the Seahawks who have the lead in that one. The Seahawks trying to gut this one out as it would be a good victory for them if they could get it. From there, we'll take the trip east to Wisconsin to check on the Packers at home at Lambeau. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Jacksonville Jaguars. Jared Goff, excellent in the victory as his guys run their mark to 4-2 and two on the year. Lastly, let's check in at our nation's capital, see what's happening with the Redskins at home at FedEx Field. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting L.A. Rams. Marcus Mariota leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? 
we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This will be fielded at the six. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They had a big first half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead here in the opening possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of a key phrase. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they were... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That's a cornerback in for the sack, Tredavious White. He'll look to throw. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, Let's my go. goodness. Yeah, Let's that's go. a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Back to throw. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. And to give this time to the tailback. And they got it inside the 10 at the 8. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Ready, ready. Now a handoff here to his running back. They stopped short. Down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. It's a good pickup. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Taking it in from a yard out. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead will swell by one more. That time a six-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. To throw again on second down. Murray punches hands it complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw, it's Murray. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48, and a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. 
Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last... Drive. They're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. 51. They'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Taking it in from four yards out as his guys continue to pour it on. And he just tied the NFL record on that fifth rushing touchdown. He's the sixth man ever to do that in a single game. And partner, did you just say that he tied an NFL record there? Yes, sir. I mean, we're talking five touchdowns on the ground against an NFL caliber defense. Is that good? I'd say that's fantastic. <laughs> what a game for him. It really is something. We are watching quite the effort. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. A drive there of just four plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Second down, Murray sets to throw, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll roll it, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Man, all, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Here's Sam Cook now, standing just outside his own goal line. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. So a change of possession here on the. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Come on. 
Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. The last time out, another touchdown. I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me trying to get to the airport. That's the road to be fairly that, clear that is by the time positive. I have to leave the booth. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. with two to go on second down. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. They'll go again to Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On first down, Jones. Credit. with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. It's a second down run with Sanders. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A gain of 13, it's a first down. A well, lot of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Right back to Sanders on first down. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the ten. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Second and five. Forced out to his left. Now, and he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. A 10-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. He continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for touchdowns. Not the first time we've seen this because this young guy, he really makes it happen. So what that tells me is the book on him has to change. You've got to now plan for those legs as well as him throwing the football. Zerline now for the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. He's going to take off with it. He'll have a first down past the 40. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. 
Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this one? Both of these guys running the ball well. Yeah, they've mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Let him know, let him know. <laughs> On second and 12, Murray, and his throw's going to be incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. Third down here. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They'll go again with Sanders. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He's at the 50, the 30, the 20, 10. Touchdown, Cardinals. Miles Sanders, 99 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get to 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. the touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. On second and nine, Murray. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Damon Harrison able to record his fifth sack of the season. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They fake the handoff, now Murray. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. 
We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for Carolina. Taken from just outside the 30. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out. For the next possession. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter. Good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over, and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game, and he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm, st I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders, and Deshaun Jackson made that big-time return all the way back for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants' sideline. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Now back to throw. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Cordero Patterson. His sixth touchdown of the season as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. At three touchdown passes, you're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Zerline good with a PAT, and the lead will swell by one more. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. That didn't appear to be a run, but he just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Here's a 20th carry for Johnson. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just to pin their ears back and get after him now. And he's got Snead. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. Murray now. A perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Murray now on first down. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. Open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. 
Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's Sam Cook now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Now this ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But yeah, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is. I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to have to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game, how they've done it, offense, defense, special teams. They put it all together. I gotta tell you, I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And again, this time to the tailback. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. He's got the first down and more past midfield. That one good for 33 and a first. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They're going to look to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Hollywood, Marquise Brown with his third touchdown so far. Number 13 now on the year as his guys continue to pour it on. Zerline now for the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A four-play drive spanning 80 yards. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, cutting the football. Looking for Snead, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. Go, 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 go. 
Now Zerline on and the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. Welcome back, everybody, to State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. We're in the fourth quarter now with the Panthers in possession of the football. Big stop, G. Big stop. Let's go. From the 24, Murray. Johnson's got it complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down, Murray. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Murray looks to throw again, second and 10. He'll buy some time right. He'll run it, and he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. To throw is Murray. It's caught by Funches. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. We're in the fourth quarter now with the Panthers in possession of the football. Looking to throw on second down. Murray, and he's going to keep it here. 
And he gets it down to the 32. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On first and 10, here's Murray. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Murray again, second and 10. Steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Ryan Kerrigan make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. play of the drive coming up and certainly not an easy one on third and long throwing is Murray on third down well, the two men come together and it's incomplete excellent work defensively brings up fourth down another pass attempt another incompletion you, you figure defensively you're in the fourth quarter here you've held the team under 100 yards passing you've done your job especially in today's NFL which is truly a pass first league The kick by Bryan is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three... It's likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went into halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Up to make the play defensively, Tredavious White. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Here we go on fourth down. Welcome back, everybody, to State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's the Cardinals in control of the football as we wind our way toward a conclusion in the fourth quarter. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. He'll drop the throw, eluding the pressure right. Able to find Walter, that's complete. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Oh. 
They'll look to throw here on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Cordero Patterson, the one he was hoping to get it to. That'll bring up second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. The Cardinals on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Check 50, check 50. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Second and 10. And his throw here is incomplete. Now the secondary has really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. And again this time to the tailback. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Back to throw. Buying time to his left. This is caught by Jackson. Touchdown, Cardinals! Deshaun Jackson with touchdown number eight on the year as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching, and he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. That time, a nine-play drive, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now onto the field, here come the Panthers. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. Well, let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? A well-executed 22-yard gain. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, but it's going to be second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Murray.
Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. We're in the fourth quarter now with the Panthers in possession of the football. Throwing on second down. Murray, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Malcolm Jenkins, the strong safety, swoops in for the sack. So he'll recount real quick. He had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Murray with a third and long. That's to his running back, on Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Now a handoff here to his running back. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. He'll look to throw, escaping the pressure. Welcome back, everybody, to State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. We're in the fourth quarter now with the Panthers in possession of the football. Throwing on first down is Murray. Welcome back, everybody, to State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. We're in the fourth quarter now with the Panthers in possession of the football. 50's a mic, 50's a mic. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Murray now on first down. And Walker has it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Well, he made that catch knowing full well that at the end of it, he's going to catch a pretty good lick. I guess if there's anyone on this team that can absorb a pop, it's him. Murray now on first down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. And it's second down. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Johnson. And this play a lot like the previous one. Thanks to that stout Cardinal defense, back to back they've been tackled behind the line. They're having issues right now getting that running game going. I wonder if maybe adopting some of the college run game would help here. Because we're still at that stage where you have a bunch of guys saying, I don't know about what the colleges do. And the college stuff is working in the NFL. Bigger line splits create some more natural running lanes. Might help the offensive linemen get better angles in their blocking schemes. Give him a gain of six on the keeper, but it still brings up four. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Give the sack to Aaron Lynch, the former USF Bull. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. It's a linebacker, Manti Teo, on the stop. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And they give this time to the tailback. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. That'll leave them with just... Just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. On first and ten, it's Sanders. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And he gets this one down to the 24. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. They'll run with Sanders. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. On second down now, it's Sanders. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now a carry for Sanders. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Arizona, they remain as hot as anyone. 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, the losses are piling.